Oh yeah, I forgot the viewer count doesn't update on my iPad for some reason. I saw five people here and I was like, why has no one said anything? What if I mercy you from the beginning? Okay, that does nothing. So I would have finished this down had my X button not messed up. That sucks. Because I had that move pretty down pat. And the last move is just a combination of a few that aren't really that bad to dodge. Insert dank, comment, and Lenny face. good. <gasps> okay. 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 Did it, guys. No head, undertail, red, pass, fist. <sighs> well, I love this. I love this so much. You ask Red what's wrong. You remember the canine unit, right? If you passed through Sno Snowden, you must have. Well, when I heard them talking about you, it... it scared me. Not for my safety, mind you. I'd like to think I'm not a terrible fighter, but because all the things they said about you. They were so positive. They all considered you a friend. Thing is, not a single human has ever made it past Asgore. After he re redeclared war on humankind, six fallen humans were reduced to six souls, and I felt you would be no different. If you were kind to me, only to be killed by our king, I don't know what I would do. I didn't want to lose anyone else, so I did my best to shut you out. I refused to like you. And then you finally appeared, asking about my day, showing concern, trying to make me laugh. God, I hated every minute of it. But, um, I guess that's, I guess there's no stopping you, huh? You're a mean, clean, befriending machine. So, uh, Thanks for being so patient with me, and, uh, sorry I tried to slice you open, I guess. These things happen. Um, I'd say it's better now, although I'm mostly just really hungry. As we all know, panicking... Panicking with a sword... What? Panicking with a sword around takes a lot out of you. Okay. 
you know, those are kind of all over the place, but it's weird. I've never seen them, like, grow anywhere around here, but they're always up in the air, stem and all. I'm not even entirely convinced it's naturally occurring. I often come here to try to calm myself, but then I start wondering about that stuff and walk away a confused mess. Okay, so, are you familiar with Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2? Every morning, I open palm slam a VHS of that into the slot, and I just get way into it. Like, the addition of the fight scenes was really needed, and the new character, she's a bit shoehorned in, in for my tastes, but Mew Mew definitely needs, uh, needed a foil. Huh? You heard it's terrible. Well, I don't know what kind of stuck-up nerd told you that. Whoever they are, they gotta take off their nostalgia their nostalgia goggles and get a good whiff of the sequel quality because you smell with your eyeballs Boop. Oh. <laughs> you tell a scary story by mistake you hear the sound of a dog hiding and whimpering you do your best sans impression it's awful? Whoops. Whoops. Do I have to do this again? Yeah. Okay. No, that doesn't do anything. Alright. Stick. You threw the stick. Red catches it in her mouth. She's really proud of herself? Yeah, you see that? That's some MTT level content you just got. Wonderful. You split the hot dog with Red. Your HP was maxed out. Red's HP was maxed out. Oh, nice. Thanks a bunch. Munch, munch. It. Those were onion rings. What? Oh. Oh. Thanks. You split the glam burger. Wait, you have more? Whoops. This is literally garbage. You split the cranberry with red. Oh, there's a little secret with the cranberry I have to show off. How much food do you have tucked in there? Send bun. Wait, that's a cinnamon bunny. These are my favorite. God. Ground beef. You split the ground beef with red. Are your pants just filled with food all the, at all times? I don't want to think about how sticky those pockets are. <laughs> Lovely. The new pal. All right, wait, what? Okay then. Huh, you're leaving already. Well, I guess you've got places to be, kings to meet. Asgore is our king for a reason, but just because he's strong doesn't mean he's mean. If you ask nicely enough, you can be friends with him too. Knock him dead, champ. Don't actually kill anyone. If you do, I'll... I'll... I'll be real upset. <laughs> so, don't do that, okay? <laughs> oh, here we go. Hello? Jeez, finally. We've been trying to call you for like a thousand hours. Ever since you wandered off, Papyrus has been worried sick about you. And now he won't stop making what he's been calling his regretty spaghetti. It's really, really salty. Where the heck did you go? What? How did you end up way out there? You can't even get there from... Well, you better turn back. There's a, uh... Really huge, ultra-powerful, super-gross monster there? Yeah. You'll get your butt kicked for sure. So you met her, huh? She's a good kid, you know. You might think she's a bit too soft for a royal guard. 
but for one reason or another, the guard's kind of the only family she has. I assigned her over there specifically so she wouldn't have to fight you. But it sounds like things worked out, I guess? It's funny if you think about it. Her fear of making and losing a human friend felt, felt pretty silly to me. But now, as your undisputed best friend, I can say it's 100% legit. So don't you go dying on us, or I'll give you something to die about. Thanks, Undyne. Oh. Hi? Oh yeah. Hold it! So, I totally forgot to tell you how to head back towards the core from there. But it's not gonna be easy. It's going to be tough. It's going to be grueling. I hope you've been training for this day. Because it will test your met it will test your metal and shake you to your soul. But with my guidance, you might just survive. Are you ready? Are you ready? Good. Here's what you do. You figure it out yourself because I have no idea. Up to it, nerd. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I love this game.